what's up y'all it's your girl Tia with the T and I'm back with another video um in this video I will be talking about my um my boot my walking boot uh if you guys are new to my channel please like comment and subscribe if you guys are already subscribed what's up what's good um sorry I haven't got any videos out that I said I was gonna do in the last video out um I've been working I've been just a little tired so, uh, with further ado, the wait is over, you know, the video is here now, so let's talk about this boot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. small a small size small boot i don't know if y'all can see that but it's an s for small it comes with two no three straps just so y'all can see this it comes with three straps so one two and three and these straps they go around the front and at the bottom it has two straps which is one and two right here. So I went to the doctor, the podiatrist on January 14th. Um, I thought that I was gonna get a walking boot to walk, but my ankle was not ready to be walked on just yet or to uh, bearing weight. So I'm in a walking boot, I'm still using my crutches. I'm back at work, um, work is a bit, different out of the norm because um i'm sitting on a stool and i really can't move i'm not mobile at all yet so it is kind of like a struggle because if i don't have <clears throat> i'm a cashier if i don't have a bagger i do have to kind of like lean off of the <laughs> lean off of the stool and bag and scan at the same time so uh no biggie i'm i'm still fine with that um do I like the boot? No, I don't like the boot. Um, at times, the boot feels very comfortable, and at times, the boot just feels so uncomfortable to the point where um, my my legs feel numb. Um, is the boot comforting? Yes, it is. At times, the boot can be comforting. It can help with... Um, that certain kind of pressure that you need for your for your ankle and stuff like that last night was horrible with the boot i really can't sleep with it i try to sleep with it um i was in a lot of pain last night i don't know why but i took the boot off i was still in pain i i tightened the boot a little bit which is right here you have inflate and deflate so all you do is once you put the boot on and strap it up, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video how I put my boot on and um, how I lace it up and the kind of pressure I want inside of the boot. So right here is a pump. So this is an air boot. So this boot holds air. And right here is you turn it back and forth. You can inflate or deflate. And this really helps with the support of keeping your ankle in a nice position. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to give y'all an update about how I'm feeling and stuff like that. I've been in some pain, don't know why. I'm not a big fan of taking medication, and I still do have a lot of medication from uh, about what five weeks ago when I first broke my ankle. But all is well with me, I'm just I've just been tired a lot. Um, I like the boot. I'm not going to say the boot is bad. I like it. I just don't care for it at times because I ache. Um, also, if you are wearing a boot and you're not supposed to be walking on it, don't walk on it. Um, I haven't put much weight on, on my boot at all. Just like balance, that's about it. But no like walking on it or anything like that. If you guys do have a cast, 
do not walk on your path. I did that. And um, I think that kind of like prolonged my healing process. So don't walk on your path. Listen to your doctor, your podiatrist. Listen to your foot and ankle doctor. Uh, abide by everything that they're saying because um, it can prolong your recovery. I do go to the doctor on February 4th. I will be vlogging that day. I will take you guys with me so you guys can watch me take my first steps or whatever we're going to be doing. But as for now, I have been icing every single day for about an hour. I iced the top of my foot for 30 and the, the actual side of my ankle where I broke it at for 30 minutes. I iced it every day for an hour. Um, I'm trying to not forget anything. Taking a shower is a breeze now. I can get in the shower and I don't have to worry about a bag being wrapped around my leg, uh, cutting off my blood circulation. Um, I did sleep with the boot off a couple of times, maybe like the first couple of nights, because when I put the boot on, well, when the podiatrist put the boot on, or the nurse, one of them, his assistant, whoever, whoever put the boot on, it was comfortable when I left the doctor. It was really, really comfortable. By the time I got home, yeah, by the time I got home, because I didn't take a shower that night. I had took a shower that morning when I went to the podiatrist um, and got my boot. Um, did I? Yeah, I did, right? Yeah, I slept with it off a couple of nights because when I got, scratch that. I'm sorry y'all, I'm like tired and I have a lot on my mind. And I'm really trying to get this video out and have a clear mind for you guys. Y'all been going through a lot, so just bear with me and understand where I'm coming from. So when homegirl, yeah, it was a girl, when homegirl put my boot on, everything was fine. When the doctor put the easy um the easy wrap on, it was fine. And when I got home, everything was fine. I was okay, but when it got to nighttime and I was elevating I just felt so much pressure like like my foot was going numb and when I took off the boot and when I took off the the bandages which is basically like a wrap which is this right here I wish I could like turn my ankle but I can't which is this when I took it all off my foot was it was big I don't know what happened he probably wrapped he probably wrapped the, the the band too tight and she probably tightened this up real tight. So that was a big old con for me and I noticed that when it rained too I get in a lot of pain and I'm not even healed yet. So um yeah. This is just how it's going for me. Um I'm gonna show y'all how my ankle looks. I don't know happy I want to see how my ankle look. Well, this is my foot. But this is where I broke it at. In this area, the bottom fibula. I can bend my toes. Not all the way though. This is the other side. I do not have any kind of like mobility. So, I'm getting it. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there about it so um i'm gonna go ahead and put the boot on for y'all i'm gonna show y'all how i do that and yeah that's gonna wrap up this video i'm gonna gently close this and i'm gonna gently scrap them i don't tie it too tight because like i said my foot go numb and my leg will go numb so i'm gonna do this like this when I get up here, I'm going to close this part up. And I'm going to go ahead and scrap them. Remember I told y'all that you can, you can pump air in it for more support. I don't pump air in mine because I'm already aching, so I'm not going to pump too much air because it starts to hurt after a while. So all you got to do is turn to inflate, which is this way. You turn to inflate, 
and then you start to pump. I'm not gonna pump because it hurts. <laughs> so I wanna thank y'all so much for watching my video. I know this is not one of my best videos because I am tired and I got a lot going on and stuff like that. So my apologies. And I do want to thank y'all for watching. Love, peace, and hair grease. Bye, y'all.